Salve Maria! Let us begin this fifth day of our Novena to Our Lady of Graces by praying the act of contrition. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My Father and my God, I recognize with great pain that I have sinned. I have offended Thee, O my Redeemer, and have deserved Thy punishment. Through Mary, my mother and Thy mother, I declare that I wish to sin no more. Through her, I ask Thy forgiveness and hope to obtain the divine mercy. Amen. Today, we will meditate a very sorrowful reality. Mary, a mother who weeps for her children. In the account of St. Catherine Labore, she narrated that Our Lady showed her many approaching sufferings. Our Lady warned her about her own sufferings, showing that they would not believe her when she told them about the apparitions, but promising her that she would never abandon her and that the foot of the altar she would receive all the consolations she needed and would be inspired in her prayers. Our Lady showed St. Catherine revelations of events that would fall upon France, telling her, the present time is very bad. Calamities will befall France. The throne will be overthrown. The whole world will be upset by evils of all kinds. The young novice was impressed by the vision, but even more impressed by the expression of the sadness on the Virgin Mary's face. A week after the blessed night, the revolution of 1830 exploded in the streets of Paris. Social and political disorders overthrew King Charles X, and everywhere there was manifestations of violent and uncontrollable anti-clericalism. Churches were desecrated, crosses thrown to the ground, religious communities invaded, devastated and destroyed. Priests were persecuted and maltreated. The expression of sadness on Our Lady's face is a common feature in the apparitions. And in some, she even wept, as in La Salette, in 1846, when she announced that if humanity did not amend itself, she would be forced to let fall the hand of her son, a strong and heavy hand that she still manages to retain, only with great difficulty. It was only 16 years before one apparition and the other. Our Lady suffers and weeps for her son, for the outrages he suffers without reparation. But she also weeps for us, because she knows how difficult it will be for us to bear all these calamities and sufferings when the punishments that mankind has so deserved finally come. She cries because she warns us and we do not care. She cries, but it is we who must cry, weeping before our own indifference, our coldness, our lukewarmness, our attachment to fashions, customs, and behavior that are more and more contrary to morality. Unfortunately, humanity has been carried away by relativism and most people no longer know what is right or wrong, and even the difference between good and evil. Even when we do not sin, we passively accept the practice of sin and the most heinous and repulsive forms, just to appear correct and aligned with the world, without caring how our bad behavior and our omission causes sorrow to our Blessed Mother. May we meditate on Mary's tears today and offer all our prayers in reparation for all the misdeeds that are committed. And may we cling to the mercy of the one who is the mediatrix of all graces, so that she may prepare us for the day of the justice of her son Jesus, which will not delay. And proof of this is her ever more abundant tears. Let us now pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. 
Supplication. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Mother, with a most lively confidence in that powerful intercession, so often manifested through the miraculous medal, we humbly beseech thee to obtain for us the graces we ask in this novena. Deign to present them to the Divine Son, and grant them if they are in the conformity with Divine Will and beneficial to our souls. After having raised thy supplicant hands to God, direct them towards and envelop us in the rays of thy grace, enlightening our spirits and purifying our hearts, so that led by thee, we may one day reach eternal blessedness. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.